city of Lucknow has long been a seat of administration and culture. Lucknow is easily accessible from all major cities in the country. All this has ensured its prominence as a center of business and industry, education and research as well as tourism. Traditionally, the Lucknow we know today was once the capital of Uttar Pradesh. During the Mughal rule, Delhi Sultanate administered its whole region. Later on, it was ruled by Nawabs of Awadh. The city also came under British rule when Lord Clive collectively defeated troops of Mughals, Nawab of Awadh, and Nawab of Bengal. Lucknow then went under the reign of the East India Company. It was ruled by the British Empire in 1857. In 1920, Lucknow became the capital of Uttar Pradesh. <laughs>
places like Jama Masjid, Clock Tower and Lucknow Museum for tourists. Situated on the southern part of Gomti River, the residency was constructed for the British residents in 1775. It all began in 1774 AD, when Nawab first agreed on the proposal of keeping a British resident stationed in today's Lucknow. It was exactly the next year that the construction of a new building for the British residents started as per orders of Nawab. However, this did not last long and the residency was attacked by freedom fighters in 1857 which was often termed as the Lucknow Siege. This attack went on for 87 days and this was an unparalleled freedom struggle in the history of the country. Extensive damage resulted on the residency after this attack. There were various buildings which were a part of the residency. Among the multiple buildings there were banquet hall, treasury, school, hospital, post office, mosque. Sikh Square, Horse Square, Sheep House, Cemetery, Garden, Parks and Brigade Mess. However, the main attractions in the residency are Bailey Guard Gate, Treasure House, Dr. Farah's House, Banqueting Hall, Imam Bara and Mosque, Begum Kuti, Museum, and Main Residency. The first attraction comes as soon as one enters the residency which is the Bailey Guard Gate. This gate has special emphasis since it was made by Nawab Sadat Ali Khan to welcome and show respect towards John Bailey, the resident of Lucknow toward beginning of 19th century. After this comes the treasure house on the right side. This was completed in 1851 and ruined in the 1857 battle when the central part was used as an ordnance factory. Dr. Fayer's house comes on the left who was the resident surgeon in the residency. Then there is the banquet hall which was a double-storied building with impressive architecture and on the left of it Mambara Mosque. Then there is Begum Kuti which belonged to the Queen of Nasiruddin Heather. The Memorial Museum of 1857 comes right after, which has distinctive things of the yesteryears. Last but not the least is main building, the residency. The central building was constructed too well in the pattern of European villas with central halls, side rooms, spacious balconies, flat roof. Ambedkar Park makes a mark on its visitors with its biographical collections and also the material that's been used to construct it. Made up of sandstone from Rajasthan, it has a unique copper tinge that casts an ethereal view all around itself.